Hey guys and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be shaving off my facial hair. So I don't think I'd quite call this a beard yet. It's about two and a half, maybe three weeks of growth at this point in time. I just got back from a week of vacation. I was actually hiking on the Appalachian Trail with my buddy. We started down south in Georgia at Springer Mountain, which is the southern terminus of the trail, and did 110 miles north into North Carolina to Winding Stair Gap. It was an awesome week. And so, you know, you really want to cut down the weight you carry because you're going up and down the Appalachian Mountains and any extra weight is just way too much to carry for a week. So I didn't bring any shaving gear with me. And I let it grow out a little bit before that just because I had a busy week going into that. So anyway, I've, like I said, two and a half, three weeks of growth right now and I'm going to be shaving it off. I also have on long sleeves today because when I was on the trail, unfortunately, I got some poison ivy and it's up and down my arms and it's pretty gross to look at. So I didn't want to have you guys staring at these uh, gross poison ivy wounds today, so I'm wearing the long sleeves. Alright, so to take down the facial hair for my first pass, I'm going to be using my straight razor. This is my Dovo, you can see it here, the olive wood, it's a 5 8 full hollow ground. Um, it's got this rounded point here, beautiful razor, I just dropped it so this thing is ready to go. Um, and then, so I'm going to do a first pass with that because there's just nothing better. There's no razor that does a better job taking off a first layer of a beard because this is just so thick it clogs up any razor. Cartridge razors, forget it. Safety razors are okay. You just have to keep unclogging them. They work a lot better than cartridge razors, but even better than a safety razor is a straight razor. So I'm using that for my first pass today. I'm going to be switching to my Mercor 34C with a uh, PermaSharp blade in here. I just want to get this to be a close shave and I'm just not quite as good with my straight razor yet so I'm going to be doing my final cleanup passes with this to get a nice close shave. So I just got a shower, facial hair is nice, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. For today's shaving soap, I'm going with DR Harris Windsor. This is a tallow soap. Uh, DR Harris is a British company. The scent on this soap is incredible. It is just, it's one of my favorite shaving soap scents out there by far. I don't know why I don't use this. Uh, this so more. I definitely need to use it more. I just have it here in the refill puck. I actually bought this in London at their store and I was there with my dad about two years ago now. Um, I love it. It does come, you can also get it, this is the refill puck, or you can also get it in a wooden bowl. I'm thinking about upgrading to a wooden bowl because this is just such an intoxicating scent. The performance is amazing. So I, because it's a refill puck, I took it out and I put it here in my Captain's Choice lathering bowl. I just set the puck straight in here. Had a blooming while I was in the shower, so I'm going to go ahead and take this bloom water and add it to my face. And these DR Hair shaving soaps are definitely harder pucks. I've used this soap, I don't know, somewhere maybe 10, 15 times. It's really hard to tell on the puck that's been used at all. They're very hard, so I highly recommend blooming these soaps before you use them. All right, for today's shaving brush, I'm going with a new brush. I don't think I've used it in a video yet. This is the Samoog 1305. Here we go. This is probably Samoog's most popular brush. People love this one. I've kind of stayed away from it in the past because I honestly just like don't like the painted handle that's kind of cream colored and hunter green and then dyed boar hair knots. I, just, I don't like the overall style of this brush, but in the few times I've used it so far, it's just an incredible performer. And I know that this is a perennial favorite for many, many uh, Samoog users out there. So I figured, you know, I'm such a big Samoog fan that I had to give it a try. So I was soaking while I was in the shower, going to wring out the extra water. Go ahead and load up. Very nice, I'm going to go ahead into my face lather. It's kind of hard to tell through all this facial hair how the uh, lather is doing. I can tell my brush here it needs a little bit more water. All 
Alright, it's looking good. Happy with that. I can see it's a little bit creamier here and down here on my neck I can see it has really, really nice thickness to the lather. So that is definitely ready to go. Alright, <clears throat> excuse me. Straight razor. So it has been a while since I've used this thing, so play it safe today. Shave the right side of my face first, so razor in the right hand. Go ahead here and get started. Look at that, already gone. All right, that went really, really well. Very happy with how that uh, how that felt here on my face. No cuts, looking great. All right, left side of my face. Alright, I've definitely reached my comfort level here. I feel like I'm really straining to get a few areas here on my face. I'm just not as comfortable with the angle, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I just really don't want to hurt myself here or cut myself. Um, especially not having shaved in a couple weeks, my skin is not ready for being pushed a little bit with this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there, uh, re-lather and switch to my safety razor. Got a decent amount of hair off. Uh, looks pretty ridiculous right now. I definitely have patches everywhere, especially right here underneath my chin, but that hair was not going well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, with a just a fresh pass with the grain just to get the rest of this hair off my face. Like I said, Mercor 34C with a perma-sharp blade in here. It's like the third or fourth shave on this blade.
There we go. That is feeling significantly better. All right. Still a fair amount of hair to take off. These subsequent passes will be important. I just tend to go through a lot of shaving soap and lather when I'm using my straight razor, so I'm just going to re-wet the uh, brush here and load up a little bit more soap. Perfect. Now I'm going to go into my uh, cross grain passes. First one, cross grain this direction. Just nice light pressure here. Had a hair there from the brush. Excellent. Wow, now that's feeling like a close shave. All right, there we go. Uh, now cross grain this direction. There are a few little hairs still stuck there, right here above my chin, this little crease. Oh, that feels great. I haven't felt my bare face in weeks. Alright, feeling around here. Neck feels great, cheeks feel great. I want to clean my mustache area a little bit, my chin down here, just a little bit smoother. All right, back to the brush, clean out the lather. Not terribly lots left, but plenty still. So there's there is a uh, shaving method I use sometimes here on my chin. It's called blade buffing. It's like right here. I want to get some of these hairs a little bit closer. They're growing this way, so I want to go. I'm going to go against the grain on because my face can handle it right here. And you basically set the razor on your skin. And you just do little quick movements like this. It does a really nice air job of cleaning up little areas like that. And during that, you're not lifting the, uh, the razor off your skin. You're just holding it on there and going back and forth really quickly. I'll show you here again, just on my cheek, just a demonstration. You set it on there. And you slowly progress forward and just doing quick little backstrokes, leaving the razor on your skin. It's a nice little technique. I use it sometimes. All right, feeling great. I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up. All right, excellent shave. Very close. I love the scent of that DR Harris Windsor soap on my face. Feels great. I really want to get the cologne for that because I feel like I'd really, really enjoy that scent a lot. Very close. Feeling around here. The Persona, uh, not the Persona, the Permashark blade did a great job. Very comfortable. 
very sharp blade, no cuts. Um, things went decently with the straight razor. I've definitely gotten rusty with that thing. I just have not been keeping up my skills. I need to like reinvest in, um, in you know, using my straight razor more just to get my skill set back up to where it was and improve because I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm not excellent with it by any means, um, but I'm okay. You know, I could get a decent shave with a straight razor. It still takes me a little bit of time, but I would like to get back up to par with this thing and really start progressing. But you know, it's really for me a function of time. It takes a lot more time for me to shave with a straight razor and kind of, you know, like for all of us, time is a premium in our lives. And it's not something that I really want to make as much time for right now because I've got other things that are just more important to me. But I will get back to it at some point. All right, let's go ahead to the post shave. Today I'll be using Thayer's alcohol free cucumber witch hazel as a stringent alright and since I'm going to bed directly after this video this is a night shave because I didn't mention that I don't like putting on something with a scent before I go to bed so I'm using Soap Commander Integrity Post Shave Balm just to lock in that moisture this has a little bit of menthol in it which is nice it does a nice uh, cooling sensation on your face. Alright guys, well thank you so much for joining me for today's shave. Um, really hoped it went better with the straight razor, but that's okay. I'll be back at it at some point in time, and I'm going to be getting back into reviews now. I've got lots of products I still want to review. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. And stay tuned, lots of videos to come.